Hi, welcome to Marketing Cloud for Marketers. My, my name is Derek and I'm from Arachne. I'm one of the uh, instructors with Arachne and today what I'd like to do is take you through how to set up a, send name, uh, a sender profile, which is the from name and from address for any outgoing emails that you'd like to send out through Marketing Cloud. And the great thing about Marketing Cloud is that you can have as many different sender profiles set up that you can then use to specify the from name and from address on an, a campaign campaign or a send by send basis. So we're gonna go through and set one of those up now. So to get to the sender profile, what I need to do is be inside the setup. So I'm gonna hover over my name up in the top right hand corner. I'll go to setup there. And from setup, which is essentially the administration side of marketing cloud, I'm gonna go into the platform tools there expand out the feature settings and jump into the email studio. Okay, so from there, I want to go into the sender profiles and click into sender profiles just there. All right, now I'm going to have a few different sender profiles set up, but I want to set up a brand new one. So I'll wait for this to load up. Okay, so you can see I've got all my sender profiles here. I'm going to create a brand new sender profile. So click on create. And I want to give that a name. I'm going to set one up for training. I don't need to worry about an external key and I'll put a description in there as well. So used for training comms. Like that. Okay, so with the name in place, that name's not exposed anywhere. None of your customers will see that. With that name in place, what I now do is come down to where it says sender information and I can specify who I want the email to come out from. Now, important thing to keep in mind here uh, is that I need to use the use the specified information there. Where it says choose from list, that's where you were able to choose to send out from a user in Marketing Cloud. So the user would get set up and the username would be the, um, uh, the name of the user would be who the email comes out from. Not ideal, so I'm not going to worry about that one. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to add in my own from name. So... I'm going to add in training with Arachne. So that's who the email is going to come from. And my from name, what I need to do here, something a little bit, need to be a bit careful here. I need to make sure that when I put in my from, my from email address, that the domain that I use, so anything after the at symbol, is the verified domain that's been set up on Marketing Cloud. Now, when you when your Marketing Cloud account was um, was uh, was set up was implemented, um, what would have happened is your organization would have delegated a domain uh, to be used for email communications. You have to use that domain for all of your email communications. Now, in my case, this is the domain that I'm using for outgoing communications from my Marketing Cloud account. So what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to click out somewhere. You can see that uh, that name is now that that email address is now verified, and that means I can now use that for our, for email communications. If that was saying pending, it's still checking, uh, and you potentially got the wrong uh, the wrong domain in there. So you might want to check with your administrator which domain you should be using there. But that's it. That's all we really need to do there. Uh, so that's who the email is coming out from. That's the address the emails are coming out from. If I go down the bottom here, I can set up uh, what's called custom reply mail management settings. Essentially, this means that I can specify which particular address is going to see it's going to receive replies from uh, when this particular sender profile is used. So, just real quick, if I click on use the custom settings below, what I can do is specify who I want to receive them, put in an address, I can forward them if I want, I can even put in an auto reply, now I can't, I can't forward on because I don't have any triggered emails but that's okay, I can put an auto reply in there if I want to, I'm not going to worry about that because uh, I would need a triggered send set up in order to do the auto reply which I don't have, but essentially at the moment with that option checked, all of my emails and now all of my reply emails are going to go through to that email address now. So I'm just going to save that. 
Now the way that I use that from name and from address, so you can see I've got a number here set up. The way I use that is in what's called a send classification. So if I go into my send classification, I really quickly need to set up a new send classification here. So I'll just wait for that to come up. I'll create a brand new one. I'm going to create one called training. Just like that. With the send classification, what I need to do is specify the type of sends that I'm doing. So am I doing commercial or transactional sends? Key difference here is with a commercial send, I need to include an unsubscribe. Uh, with transactional sends, I don't need to do that. Come down the bottom here, I can choose the sender profile I want to send out from. So I want to send out from my training sender profile. My delivery profile, that's generally going to be the default delivery profile. Your delivery profile effectively manages the IP address that's used for your email sends. Um, it's also used to define the header and footer of your emails from time to time. We are going to set up another video on that and, and run through that with you. Uh, send priority, you don't really need to worry about that. Leave that as normal. That just means that your sends will go through and be processed by Marketing Cloud uh, in a queue effectively. Um, they'll go through as, as, they, as they hit that queue. But with that send classification done, I'll click on Save. I've got a brand new send classification set up. And the way that I use this now is if I want to put an email together, so real quick, I'll go into Content Builder. If I want to put an email together, what I can now do is specify who the email comes out from or who the email is sent out from. So real quick, I'll build an email with a template. I'll just choose that template there. It doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to call this one test for sender. Click on next. Just add a quick subject line, test for sender. Next. Okay, now the way where I use that sender profile is if I am to do a test, so I'll go into my test there. Down here, I can specify which send classification I want to send out from. So I can choose my training send classification, and you can see that when I do that, the from name is going to be training with Arachne and the right from email address is being, is being selected there as well. If I'm using different ones, I can see how that changes the, set, the, the from name and from address for me. All right. So really quick and easy way for me to specify exactly which um, uh, or who I want to send out from, the from name and from address that I want to use to send out from. Uh, so that's for a test send, but when I do a, a live send, the same thing. I just specify that send classification, and then uh, that will adjust the from name and from address for me. All right, that's it. Thanks for your attention, and we'll get some more videos, uh, and look forward to, uh, look forward to get, getting some more videos up for you. If there are specific questions that you've had, or any specific use cases that you have that you wanna um, uh, that you wanna see demoed, please let me know in the comments and we'll look at getting those videos set up for you. Thank you.